Have you heard the old saying, it's better late than never? <laughs> well, it's late right now. It's after midnight. It's been quite a day. I've been busier today than Satan in most of the churches across this country is on Sunday. And that's really, really busy. He's extremely busy in the churches because he runs most of them right now. Just got through. Um, crazy, crazy day. Just finally had a little dinner about five minutes ago. Time to knock out the video. I always tell everybody, Lord willing, I'll get it done every day. Can't turn the lights on. The fish are sleeping. It's blackout. So, this is what we get. This is where we're at. Today's key headline is, start, back in 95, the Congress and Senate voted to finally move the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. It kept getting delayed <coughs> every six months because um, some clown somewhere put in the bylaws in the bill, the president could kick the can every six months and delay it. Now, why would you ask, would the president want to delay this bill from being implemented every six months? Because it wasn't God's time yet. I'm trying to fix this so I can get close enough but be comfortable and not be too much in the dark. It wasn't God's time yet, my friends. It's God's time now. The peace talks are finally back again. The rapture is imminent. The new temple is going to be built in Jerusalem after the rapture when the peace deal is made, the seven-year deal. And now this bipartisan bill trying to get it passed now in these last of last of last of last days. A huge, huge key end time sign the Holy Spirit showed me. So the bottom line is this. Like I ask every day, look at all the signs. Go back in this new channel and look at all the signs that I've put on every single day and look at those and put them together like a big puzzle. Don't look at one individual piece. Look at the whole puzzle and then tell me that you don't just say, wow. Because if you don't say, wow, and see what's going on, then you're blind, my friends. And you just can't see. Your spiritual vision is gone. If you've never been saved by Jesus' blood, or if you're backslidden, you believe the lies of once saved, always saved, the teaching you can, after you're saved, you never lose salvation. Baloney. I've got 250 scripture from the KJV. Not my words, not your words, God's word. And they all say, repent, 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 repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, message me. I'll send it to you on a word document. So if you're one of those two boats, let's pray now before it's too late. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again the third day, went back to heaven, and be at the right-hand side of the Father. And since that time, you made a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer. Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. When you get saved, to get you a King James Version Bible, it's the living, breathing Word of God. Where you feed your body with food and water every day. It'll feed your spirit and soul if you read it daily. Pray every day to Jesus. He loves you. He's your new best friend. wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized as soon as possible. Dunked under water. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray to be sanctified from head to toe by living for Christ, reading the Bible, and praying every day. Take that KJV to church. When the pastor speaks, make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out. And finally, repent, 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 repent. Every time you say repent. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, for a terminal illness, or a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it. I praise the Lord when I prayed for it. He gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in his holy will. And if he does, it's all because of him. Nothing to do with me. I pray for you guys every day, and I love you. Let's get out there and witness to the lost and pray for them every day while we still have time. May God bless you. And again, I don't know what time it will be, but Lord willing, I'll have another video up tomorrow or early in the morning sometime, whenever I, I can get around to it, with the new End Times Rapture headline of the day. May God bless you. Good night.